Uh, BCS tractors I'm looking at too. Used BCS 853, uh, one gas and one diesel. Any, uh, any thoughts on one versus the other? Any thoughts on what to look into uh, uh, for buying a used machine? Um, an 853 is a big machine. Um, let me just double check. What do I have? Uh, I always forget what I have. BSSamerica.com. Um, I just ordered a new uh, P PTO quick culprit for my BCS from BCS America. It cost about a hundred bucks, and I paid a hundred dollars in brokerage fees. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? You sure it's not 10? Because I, when I had my BCS sent up here from BCS, my whole machine, I paid like around that in brokerage fees. It was ridiculous. Yeah, I have a 749. So an, an 853 is a big machine. Um, you know, whether gas or diesel, uh, from my experience, there's no performance differences between the two. It just comes down to, do you prefer gas or diesel? Um, if I had to buy a BCS again right now, knowing with knowing what we're going into, uh, I would buy a diesel machine because you can store diesel fuel for a long time. Uh, we didn't get into it with Dakota, but Dakota told me that they um, they only burn two hundred gal uh, two hundred liters of diesel per year to run their entire quarter section farm. So quarter section is 160 acres. So they run, they've got a Kubota tractor and they've got another, they got two Kubotas. Uh, so 200 liters of diesel per year. Uh, it is not difficult to store uh, 2000 liters of diesel. You get one of those farm tanks, you're golden. And so if you were on Dakota's farm, you could store 2000 liters of diesel. That would be 10 years of diesel. So uh, going, thinking about the potential looming, uh, crisis that we might be moving into here i would i would just go for the diesel because you can store diesel for long you add some of that red stuff to it i forget what that's called uh, diesel will last a long time so i'd probably go with the diesel um any thoughts on buying a used machine i mean not really i mean bcs machines are so good um i've owned three different machines um i've sold two and i have the one that i have now my 749 or my, my, actually my, I think mine's a 753. Um, and uh, you can't really go wrong. These machines last forever. You know, the, your, your uh, gear driven drives um, are just so resilient. And you know what? You can put a diesel engine on any of them. You just buy another Kohler or Honda diesel and put it on there. Not difficult to do. These machines are really simple. Um, as far as machines go, I, I would never buy a machine without a, um, a differential wheel lock. I love the differential wheel lock. It allows you to turn in tight spaces, uh, which is also easier on your body. Um, you don't necessarily need to have all those features. Uh, you don't need to have electric start. I don't mind pull start. I mean, my machine's already four years old and one pull and it goes every time. I just put my choke down. One pull, I'm good to go even in the winter. So I'm putting a snowblower on my machine this year. That's why I wanted to get my, uh, I have a snowblower, but my, uh, my old PTO um, uh, quick coupler got seized and I couldn't get it apart. So I just bought another one. 